hearing in hospital. You spoke with a witness related to one of the victims. Yeah, several witnesses. It was a uh, chaotic afternoon, a day that was meant for a celebration, Sheba, turned to terror very quickly. We're here at Presbyterian Hospital. Uh, this was really a gut punch, as one person put it to me, to the uh, Islamic community. One of those victims, a 23-year-old man who was shot in the stomach, remains here at Presbyterian Hospital. His family and friends quickly followed behind. Uh, those family and friends also attended that celebration, came to the hospital. I spoke with several of them who were there at the Philadelphia Masjid at the Eid al-Fitr event celebrating the end of Ramadan. An estimated thousand people, as you heard Steve say, outside of one of the most largest mosques in the city, including the relative of that 23-year-old who was still in the emergency room after being shot in the stomach. This is our faith. We have a Eid every year after we fast for 30 days, we have a celebration. And that's what we were having, a celebration. And we don't know who was shooting, where the shots came from, but people start shooting and everyone just start running. And you have babies, elderly people. Everybody was just there to enjoy themselves. And joining me now is Corey Taylor, his uh, the son, it remains in the hospital right now. Your son was shot uh, at this event. Um, just uh, what is going through your mind right now? Anger and sadness, I know. I was angry, um, sad. I was uh, woken up by my ex-wife called me and told me that my son was shot. And was shot. She didn't know at this time or whatever, so I'm rushing and I'm trying to make it here or whatever the case may be. So I, when I get here, um, the security, um, and I spoke with the chaplain and whoever else over here or whatever, um, they was very respectful and everything. My son was uh, shot in the abdomen, but he is responsive right now, so I try to, you know, joke with him a little bit to keep him calm and uh, mellow or whatever. Um, um, all I have to do is say this to the city. I wish that we can all live as homo sapiens human beings and stop with the violence, um, us getting jealous or envious over each other about a female or whatever the case may be. That's all enjoy life, our freedom out here, and just love love, and try to do better in life and get farther in life or whatever. This was an E. This was a religious gathering, and it was thousands of people out there uh, that shouldn't have been, you know, they, they live at stake right now. People shooting reckless and all type of crazy things. Things like that at the end of the day like no one should have to go through that like you know this is the he is a, a religious gathering is people should feel safe there should be a sanctuary when they go out whether it's at church or wherever at a, at a at a synagogue or whatever or a masjid or especially eat or whatever the case may be people should feel comfortable in the city of philadelphia um where they at they should feel comfortable and no one should be out here and trying to, uh, you know, um, do anything to retaliate or whatever the case may be. So I'm asking people nicely, please don't try to retaliate and nothing has to do with my family name for my son or none of that unjustly. You want to do, you want to help my son and me out? You pray. You offer do that. That's all I ask that you do. Not no violence and being all belligerent and, and arrogant and ignorant and stuff like that. We all have to live together. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate it, and uh, I'm sorry for your son and uh, our thoughts and prayers. We'll catch up with him in a little bit. Just you see the pure emotion of what happened today in West Philadelphia from a father who was going through it. Back to you guys.